We have we have determined we think it has been somewhere anywhere from six to eight years since you've been on. It's been bad. It, it, it has it, it has been bad because Adler says he's been here eight years and he thinks you made your last appearance right as he was coming in. Right. So that would have been you. So probably you were here. You've, it's probably been seven years, which is you know the Lord's number of completion. That's right. So it's over. So now it's over. Yes. So 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 now you're back, uh, and we missed you, man. And speaking of uh, on a religious connotation, yes, uh, I feel like a point set of Catholic with y'all. You know, just show just show up around Christmas time. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Some, you know, the funny stuff's got a little truth in it. <laughs> dangles, it dangles, it dangles. All right. So. Last time I was here, there was a lady wearing a Christmas sweater, and I t- commented about her Christmas sweater. It was the same time I went into y'all kitchen, stole all your goods, brought them to the studio, and handed them to you for Christmas presents. I remember that. Uh-huh. You re-gifted her own stuff that was in the kitchen. Thank you. It yeah. was genius. So I, that's what I started thinking. Well, we're missing you because, you know, Bub and I are not afraid to take a vacation. Right. And and so uh, so we do two weeks at the end of the year. So I started thinking, well, we're missing him because yeah. he's coming. He's to, here for Christmas. He's in our town while we're off work. Right. But we finally, I think, it doesn't matter. You're here You're here, and we got you, so you're back. And I want the relationship to stay. I really do. Mm-hmm. I enjoy y'all. And and, and I don't want to come into the studio like I've, I'm in now and see totally different people. Right. You're losing too much weight. You're right. sagging. Everything on you sagging. You're uh, losing too much I know, weight. I'm sorry. I'm hey, sorry. you done had heart surgery and you blowing up like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> and Speedy got a C cup now. <laughs> when I left Speedy, he was about an A. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if he leaned forward, it was a B. He is straight up C. Right <laughs> Lean forward, look like two snow cones. <laughs> and I don't know where you got this retired Ken doll from. <laughs> Retired this thing, yeah. <laughs> Got the best looking teeth in the group. Look at him. Yeah, I know. You can tell who the youngest one is. Uh, hey, well, he's close. He's down hey, toward the bottom. Really? Are you young, young man? You, you got your tattooed ring on? You tattooed your wedding ring? Oh, is that? Oh, no. Look tattooed. I was about to say you're about a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Congratulations. You married? Yes. Oh, that's great. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> All right. So, so and, then, and then Greg Greg said he came on the last time you were here. You know, yeah, you know, I, think, I think Don Greg, Juan left, and then Greg came. That's good. I like Greg. Greg's family. See? That's right. Yeah. You can't get rid of him. No. Awkward. You're going to be awkward at the, at the, at the gatherings. Yeah. I yeah. Know. yeah. Yeah. Then, then people don't want to talk to you. That'd be a little tense. Yeah, we walked through some of your family stuff, understood. Hoo hoo. Right. Hoo-hoo. How is your crew doing? My crew doing good. Oldest one's uh, hunting and fishing. That's all, he, that's all mm-hmm. he wants to do in life is hunt and fish. He's a sophomore in college. I know that. Um, Where's he go? Uh, he goes to LSU. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, it's not my alma mater, but I don't really care where they go. I just want you to finish your university. People say, you know, not all kids are cut out for, 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 for higher education. Well, mine going to try. <laughs> and as right. uh, long as you live at home, you're going to go to school. Right. Uh, when, you, when you're not in school anymore, it's time for you to go because you know more than I do. That's right. Um, you, you could be 80 years old. Stay with me. You better be on your like thirtieth degree. Right, you got to do something. <laughs> you got to do something. Right, and so, but hunting and fishing is his his thing. That's, That's all he wants. The boy that, wants to what's do. What's wrong with that? He's a welder. Uh, taught himself to weld in junior oh, well, senior he'll do year. Fine, then. Yeah, built his own boats. Uh, uses them things called gator tails. Yeah, uh, motors that ride, I guess, above the water a little bit. You know, mm-hmm. and uh, so that's his thing. Middle one's a golfer. Um, it works at a golf course. Uh, it's going to study nursing. It's his first year starting at LSU. And my daughter just turned 16, little Chinese thing. She's brilliant. And uh, as you guys know. Well, that's your that's your adopted child. Uh, mm-hmm. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what is her name? Uh, Lila. Lila mm-hmm. uh, Q Fon. Kept her middle name. Q as the city of Q Yang. Fon as the definition of the word of a deer, a mm-hmm. foe. You know, mm-hmm. no. uh, Q Fon. So we kept that as her middle name, you know. But she's brilliant. She's already got like six Seven courses completed for college. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's night. a sophomore in high school. Oh, sure. Yeah. And uh, it that's, was so incredible. That's going to be your doctor right there. Yeah. I, I don't care what she is, but she's paying for something. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. So they're all doing good. I went hunting with my son for the first time, the oldest one. Really? So, so you were not a big hunter? No, sir. No, okay. sir. Never shot a gun in my life. And you went with I, your son who loves well, it. Well, my son, I defend your right to own a gun. Right. But but I don't own one. You know what I mean? I believe we have something called home. That's a place where you love and you cherish and you cry and you and you and you enjoy. You love. Uh, uh, you make plans. Uh, you enter that domain without being invited. There's a chance you might get a cap in your rear end. Right, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I'm not going to shoot you, but I'm going to scream like a woman until somebody comes down. <laughs> you, want, you want him to be shot by somebody. Oh, yeah, I, Maybe I, your son I, that. <laughs> right. Maybe oh, your son that. I'll be in the living room. Yeah. So he, so he took me hunting, and um, he, he said, Papa, I got this. And I got the free song, or the goosebumps, if you will, mm-hmm. all on my body because I was watching my son teach me something. Now, what, I, what, what did you call it? We call it goosebumps. You call it what? Free song. Oh, that's that's, that's yeah, a Cajun, yeah, Cajun word. Yeah, word, frisson. Yeah. So the frisson. I can't imagine you sitting still long enough to hunt anything. 
They didn't have enough for me to smoke that day, I can tell you right now. <laughs> I was miserable. Yeah. You didn't have enough Skittles, enough nothing. So <laughs> so I was out there, and I got the free song all on my body, and he, he winks over the barrel as if he's going he gonna to teach me something. And, you know, this to the listening audience. Sometimes your children will teach you something. If you're smart enough, you keep quiet and let it happen, because I believe it's called a rite of passage. And they'll remember that further than they'll ever remember anything you try to dictate down their throats. And so I sat there quietly, and he winked over that barrel, and them ducks started coming. He said, Papa, could you see him? I couldn't see anything. It's too dull. <laughs> And um, this big, tall, six foot thing. I don't even know who his daddy is. Uh, <laughs> he come on. And look, if I find out he's not mine, I'm not mad. <laughs> you hear me? I don't even want no money back. Just take over from here on out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I, I, I'll always be, I'll always be your daddy. But, but, but when your phone breaks, you're talking to your father. How about that? <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so them ducks don't come in, bro. I'll never forget them shots, y'all. I'm, I, y'all all been hunting. I surmise, sure, uh, you know, yeah. anybody from Alabama been hunting. Right, right. I just, I just, uh, boom, boom, sh- sh- boom, boom, sh- sh- and I just, uh, and the ducks kept flying. <laughs> That's a lot of money, you know. I could have bought a duck breast cheaper than that from the Krogers. No, <laughs> no doubt. Uh, the, the, the middle one, the middle one. Uh, you know, he, he flicked my chest the other day. I was frying bacon. He coming in and flicked my chest. He didn't even give a chance to bow up, you know, yeah, like, yeah, right. to tighten it up. Right, no, sure. Nothing, nothing. So, mm. the, so the middle one's good, and and and, and he just played golf. That's all his thing is. He played golf. Tall, lengthy boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, got carpal tunnel syndrome already because they got that sk- ski skeeting on a uh, on a computer and phone yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, right. And then the Chinese one is the joy of my life. She's the one that's gonna take me into retirement. Um, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful child. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know, I remember your you. I still tell to this day when you talked about them calling you up to the school about her being gifted. That's one of the funniest stories because yes, they is. thought you were going to celebrate, and you were kind of like, "She Chinese." We expected this. Yeah. <laughs> well, you want to make me happy? Test one of them Justin Bieber's I got in your class. <laughs> I'll do flips in this office. You kidding me? You got to be kidding me. Right. All your children bring you different things. Yes, they do. Some bring you joy, some bring you heartache, and some bring you worry, some bring you, you know, but I ain't never met one that brought me finances. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for that one to show up. Well, this may be it. This could be your investment. Yes, this it. could be it. If I'd have known then what I don't know now, I told you all this before, I'd have three Chinese daughters. I would. I wouldn't have them boys. <laughs> We'd have a small takey out of shop, two nail shops. We'd be rolling. Like that. <laughs> yeah, we'd be rolling. We'd be rolling. You wouldn't be down here at Rick and Bubba, right? No, you wouldn't have oh, oh, I'd be on Rick and Bubba by my own ad on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, why I got you to talk about my nail shop. <laughs> Can you see Rick taking it serious, too? <laughs> well, you get your nails done. <laughs> Morgan's Nail Salon. Yes. Oh, okay. Double pay, and then, and then Bubba chimes in. You know, I got my toes done there. <laughs> right before the heart attack. <laughs> oh, the family's back together. The family's back together. John Morgan's with us. John Morgan, the raging, raging Cajun, is back. Speedy has found... The last time you well, were here. Adler told me. Adler I, told me. I won't take credit did you meet, for this. Did you meet Adler? Now, he had just started. When you <clears> Which the, one? The, the hairy dude? The TV guy. The TV. The greasy that, kid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, which one? The little Ewok? Yeah. <laughs> Cousin it. That's him. Cause, yeah. yeah. Well, he's another hairy one. Look at him. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I'm, next time I come, I'm bringing shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> he, he saw Adler. He said, you know, boy, water's cheap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Adler went back December 2010. It was the last time you were on. Wow, that's a long time. <laughs> hey, to the young people I joke with that work for y'all, I wish them the very best. You know what I'm saying? Well, I wish yeah. I, well, when we were that young, we could wear our hair, look like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, I can't no more. You, know, you just look like an old per, per, perverted dude. <laughs> well, that's, it's funny you said that because my, my sons, right. I, 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 I just dropped the last one off at college yesterday, so I'm, I'm, I'm empty nest now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And it feels so good. Mm-hmm. Of course, my my wife cried, and I had that like I was upset. But yeah, but the uh, but, but the um, <laughs> did, did y'all get a new dog? Did you get a new dog? No, yeah. we, we got a dog that they left behind. That if I if I can find a way to get rid of, get rid of it, I'll really be free. I'm re- I'm really getting tired of. Dog. I lost my Great Dane. Lost my Great Dane. That was my boy. That's the third one I lost. Oh, know? really? What? They don't they don't live long, but they give you a lot of love. And then, and then I lost hey. him, and it broke my heart. And then next thing you know, my wife tells me, uh, we got a little baby dog coming in. So I loved this baby dog for about four or five months. He drowned. Oh, and, no. and yeah, 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 right in front of the wife. You know, broke her heart. Oh, no. Three days later, she tell me we got a dog being flown in. Mm-hmm, flown in. Flown in. Flown, <laughs> flown in. Flown in. Ohio. I said, it best be cargo. Because if he <laughs> flying comfort uh, uh, first, uh, that's an issue. 
So we get this little puppet, though, this, this uh, uh, Marky, right? A Maltese and a Yorkie, you know? That's what I have, by the way. I have one of those. I have one of those. Listen, I'm just going to spit it out. I'm going to just spit it out. It's a gay dog. It's a gay dog. Just go ahead and say, don't hold back. No, and, and you know, I knew I knew it was kind of funny when I looked at myself in the mirror and, and I was like, well, it's not a bad dog. And then you mm-hmm. held it. And then I looked at myself like, oh, ow. <laughs> yeah. So the <laughs> dog kind of rolled off the couch. And mama said, oh, baby, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, baby, don't you open oh, blah, blah, blah. So I got up off the couch, pretend like I sprained my la- ankle. You know, I said, oh, oh, oh. And she said, walk it off. <laughs> <laughs> and that's I'm done. And that's the problem. I'm done. <laughs> and that's the problem. I'm done. I want them all walk to go. Off. I want them all to go. Yeah. I, would, I, I, I mean, I don't want to be single, but I want them all. <laughs> I show on the weekends, you know. <laughs> middle garage apartment or something with a back entrance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> you can laugh, Speedy. I'd never be married to you. I'd be miserable. I'd commit suicide. I'd kill myself. <laughs> if what? You don't wake up and look at you every morning. Like <laughs> <laughs> Morgan. I'm glad he's on to you. Good <laughs> night. Yeah, you you behind that screen. I'm behind that. <laughs> you got the worst hairline I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> I know. It. You know, we were we were worried. You evil we, we brother. Were, you we, evil brother. We were worried that John had changed. I think we're okay. It's <laughs> yeah. just fire. Now, we're working here, you know, you're talking about apologize to the young guys. Yeah. Greg worked for the the power company. I'm talking about Southern Company for 23 right. years. Pole climber. Oh yeah. yeah. And yeah. so so he came here thinking. Well, okay. it won't, but he said that everybody here. Well, ha- we well, hack well. on each other worse, worse, it worse or as bad as out there in the blue collar world. He's just rough in here. Yeah, Everybody makes fun of each other. Yeah. It's rough in here, but, yeah. but it's AC. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, we got good 70 AC. degrees year round. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you ever feel bad when you have a job like ours? You start trying to make it sound worse than it really is because you think people look down on you. Yeah. So now, what do you do? A guy asked me yesterday when I was moving my kid in, so what do y'all do when the show's over? And I found myself making up things that sound like we work harder. Oh, well, it's, you wouldn't believe things we do after shows over. <laughs> I said, you know, I, I mean, we get meetings and stuff. Meet with, meet with people. Go to lunch. Unless, unless I got something to do and I won't do it. Return, <laughs> we, we turn big boy a quarter of a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Take six of us. <laughs> and, and then, when you know, you, I mean, I got to walk around the corner to go to lunch. Probably meet with somebody. Now, I'd love to be able to say that I don't do anything. But, yeah. you know, I got 15 rental units because there's no retirement in comedy. Oh, and I don't yeah. make enough to put away. Do you oh. understand what I'm saying? Okay. So You uh, have 15 rentals? Yes, sir, I do. Oh, yes, where are they? Sir, I do. That's They're all headache. around near where I live. And uh, the other day, I was up underneath the house trying to fix a 34-foot gas line. Mm. And I uh, found out that I could use that yellow flex line instead mm-hmm. of uh, galvanized because it's too hard for me to handle, or much less try to fit it from 35 feet away, you know? Mm. And so mm. I paint and I fix and I do what I have to do, you know? And I, there, there's no complaining. Uh, you do what you have to do. And listen, listen, what people forget, though, is, is that the jobs that we have, whether it be inside or entertaining or radio or whatever, it, they don't know what it took to get to where we are. Mm-hmm. They don't know, know the times where we didn't eat too much or, mm-hmm. you know, on the oh, time, yeah. or, or your family and what uh, you know I, could I buy my kids anything they want right now no <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then, and if I did I still wouldn't do it you know what I mean I just yeah. I, but you, I don't know about our jobs I don't I don't want to fly I know people say oh it must be great you fly you know you ever flown lately no it's miserable you it understand is, it's it miserable is, it you is know miserable. what I mean you're paying high dollar for 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 you know and I'm married to Delta it's like a bad marriage you know you can't <laughs> leave them but my points are there <laughs> 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 I'm trying to leave home. By the time I find me the underwear ain't got no holes in them, I just soon stay. <laughs> when you go in and out of a hotel, you're lonely. You know what I mean? People say, "Do you love your wife?" Do I love my wife? Twenty something years. You must. Y'all must say you would love your. Wife. Yeah, I love her, but I hate her at the same breath. You know? Don't give me that stuff. If you say, "Oh no, we have a perfect relationship," one of y'all is miserable. And maybe it ain't the one talking. <laughs> right, 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 right. But when I go to the bathroom and ain't no more paper, she the one going to bring me a roll. That's my boo right there. <laughs> That's it. That's now, it. I try to return the favor, but I got a bad gag reflex, you see? <laughs> <laughs> I was walking down the hallway the other day. The renews had said, hey, shh, come here. I can't do this by myself. We need some Febreze up in here. Just, it's, you, you take it like it comes. Your marriages, your kids, you take it like it comes. You move forward, you know? You yeah, move forward. Do, do the best you can with it. You do the best you can. And if that means I'm going to relax after I do the radio, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to relax, you know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah. So what? All your kids are gone. Mm. You can fry bacon naked. That's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> Nobody cares. Yeah, I know. Well, but the thing is, I'm having to pretend like that. Still has bothered me. You, know, you have to go through that because mom has to have her little, you know, there's a maternal <clears throat> connection we're not in on. Yeah. Let's just call it. 
I would agree with that. That's but, why they're blessed. I, I believe we're blessed to have something called mothers. You know uh, no I mean? doubt. Yeah, they, and they have the in, in, innate ability to stay where a lot of men seed and leave. Mm-mm. And sadly, so, so uh, <clears throat> completely sadly, right? Uh, castrated in my world. That's right. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but but so mothers are that are that specific. But but um, at the <clears throat> same time, mothers, you know, boy, they love them children and they love them dogs more than they love you. Sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> just make me mad. Walk it off. <laughs> walk it off. I'm walking it off. Yeah. I'm walking it <laughs> no, off. That's no, like because we grew up in the era of what what was called a yard dog. Your dogs just ran around in the yard where we grew up and. Yeah, you didn't carry them to the vet. No. You, you dipped them every spring. No a big fence. barrel of stuff to get rid of ticks and fleas. That was it. That little brown shot. bottle. The yeah. little brown bottle. You, you yeah. gave him a shot. Yeah. It was some kind of purple stuff. I don't know what it was. You know, you dipped that dog. You gave him a shot, and that was it. You remember your dad's but face? But no, we carry them to the dog. I mean, oh, we, yeah. we have higher medical bills now yeah. with that with the dog than we do, do the kids. Do you remember your dad's face if it was even suggested that the dog be taken somewhere to the doctor? <clears> he just looked at you like, what? That ain't, that ain't in an account. My dad had a, 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 a distinct... Um, a bite in the bottom lip. Mm-hmm. If he bit the bottom lip, two things. One, step back and shut up. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the bottom lip bit, you know, I remember him drowning cats in front of us. No, he did not. Yes, John. he did. Uh, yes, I did. I don't mind being the truth. It's the truth. He, he, he drowned some cats. I'd like to know your email so I can pass it on. Because <laughs> yeah. I didn't say that. No, <laughs> no, no, ladies and gentlemen, listen to this today. It was John Morgan that said that. And listen, I don't care. So what? That's the way it was. We grew up that it was way. Different. It was different. You know what I mean? We sat in the back of a truck, a, a yeah. pickup truck with no seatbelt, nothing. And, and you, could, you couldn't sit on the hump, you know, the, the tire well until you was 14. Yeah. <laughs> we talked about yeah. that today. Yeah. I'm glad you said that. The only move to be safety was if you were smaller, get up against the back of the, yeah. the, the, glass. the cab. You had to be up. And sit class. down, don't stand down. up. That was it. Sitting yeah. down. And guess who got in trouble if you stood up? The two on the hump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now you're right. the oldest. <laughs> that was the big safety thing. Don't get on the hump unless you're a certain size. We didn't have texts. We didn't have no. text back then. Mama didn't leave no text or nothing like that. Mama left something on the back of an envelope that she didn't need anymore. No. <laughs> no, yeah. that's so true. Or you, could hear, you could hear her call you mm-hmm. like a mile away. Mm-hmm. My father was a whistle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You better come running. Yep. Yes. Right. I remember a man saying my, to my dad one time, he said, but you got some dogs? And my father said, no, I got well-trained sons. Call your son. Let's see if he comes. <laughs> that was the end of the conversation. We came. We'll yeah. be back. More with John Morgan. If you want to see John Morgan tonight, an opportunity of tickets are still available at startone.com. One show at 7 Speedy, local good. time. You look good, Speedy. Two, you went two. through chemotherapy? <laughs> <laughs> John, he's trying to say He's talking about your show, Two John. shows tomorrow night and one of <laughs> night. He's going to do a Sunday night show. You know John's Catholic. We'll be back. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba.